Hello and welcome back. Today's video is going to be all about eyeshadow palettes I don't think are worth the full retail price. However, I do think that they are worth the sale price that I at least got them for. I would definitely repurchase these palettes, but only if I could get a good discount. Now, this is obviously personal preference. Everybody has different taste and different values of money that they would be willing to spend on makeup. I did a recent video, if my eyeshadow palettes disappeared, 10 palettes I would repurchase and 10 palettes that I would not repurchase. I will link that video if you do wanna see that. And this is kind of an extension of two videos that I did last year. One was makeup that I bought on sale and whether I regret it or not. And then the other one was makeup that I paid full price for and whether I regretted that or not. So I will link those videos also. So again, these palettes I do really love and enjoy and I don't regret buying them, but I would only buy them again if I could get them on sale. I've just been thinking a lot about lately how much money I've spent on makeup and things like that and products that I would truly actually repurchase, you know, if my collection expired or disappeared or anything like that. I've just had a lot of these kind of thoughts on my low buy. So let's just get into this video. First up is this Charlotte Tilbury quad. This is the one called Bella Sophia and I absolutely love this one. It is very beautiful, warm tones, and then this is one of the pop shades that's kind of more of a sheer color that has some shimmer in it. It's really beautiful and I've gotten a lot of use out of this palette. I would definitely repurchase it, but again, only on sale. I got this at the Sephora VIB sale in November, so I got 20% off. I feel okay with that, but full price, $53, for me, $53, that's a lot for a quad. I just, I don't think I wanna spend that much money for four eyeshadows. Obviously you're paying for the Charlotte Tilbury name and all of that, but for me, I just think $53 for an eyeshadow quad is a little bit on the ridiculous side. However, for 20% off, I would definitely consider buying more of these. I do have another one that I kind of regret buying just because I don't use it very much, but this one I have used a lot. So I'm really happy that I did get this one. The next two palettes are from Urban Decay and I absolutely love the Urban Decay eyeshadow formula. I think that it's quite good and I think that they've really improved over the years. However, I don't really think that their palettes are worth full retail value. Not because they're not good, but I think it's more because you can just get them on sale all the time. So this is the Wired palette and I got this when it was 50% off last year. So it was only $20, which I mean is still a decent amount of money but I really enjoy this one. I just don't wear these rainbow type colors all the time, but I do love a good colorful eyeshadow look. And I think some of these colors are really unique in my collection. And I'm actually so happy that I bought it. Now, if I had paid the full $40, I don't think I'd be quite as excited just because again, I'm not getting as much use out of this as I would other palettes because it is so bright and colorful, but I'm still a lover of colorful eyeshadow and I definitely will get some decent use out of this that I feel okay having spent $20. This formula could be better. I know this got a lot of bad reviews. Some of the shades are harder to work with, but I actually don't mind and I really, really enjoy it. Then we have the Naked Honey palette. And this one I got on sale for only $25, which is 50% off. This was a Black Friday purchase for me last year and I'm so happy that I got it, but I'm really glad I didn't spend $50. I just think that's overpriced. Um, you know, it's a good formula, but it's a lot of warm neutrals, which I already have. But I, I gotta say, the formula is really, really nice on this. I do think it stands out, but again, Urban Decay, you can get their palettes on sale. And I feel like at Ulta, every year, there's at least a couple of their palettes that are always 50% off. And another one is the Born to Run palette. I love that one, but I've seen that one for 50% off so much that yeah, I just personally, I'm not into buying Urban Decay palettes at full price, but if I can get them for 50% off, or even if I could get, you know, like 25% off, I think that would be very good. But it's just something I personally would wait for a sale to get these. Then we have this Tom Ford quad, and I gotta say the full retail value of this is absurd. $88 for four eyeshadows. Now, I said I don't wanna pay $53 for four eyeshadows. I definitely don't wanna spend $88 on four eyeshadows. That's just, that's not for me. I don't want to do that. 
but I don't regret getting this because I got it for only $33. This one is called the Nude Dip Quad. And I don't think it's anything, you know, like the most amazing eyeshadow in the world, but this is a really nice smooth formula. It works very well. They blend so easily. There's no fallout. So for me, the fact that I got this for $33 was definitely well worth it. And I did buy this at a cosmetic company outlet store. If you have access to one of those, I would highly recommend checking it out. Um, I was at one about a few weeks ago and they were having 60% off sale. Um, so they have Tom Ford, Too Faced, Mac, a lot of those brands. It's all actually Estee Lauder brands. So I would say if you have access to that store and you wanna buy a Tom Ford quad, that's what I would suggest because yeah, I mean, $33, I, I mean, I paid more for the Charlotte Tilbury one even on sale than I did for this. So definitely worth it for me, but personally, I would not spend the $88. Next up, I wanna talk about these Dose of Colors five pan palettes. I have three of these. I have this one, which is called the Blushing Berries. I have the Baked Browns, which I'm wearing some of those colors today. And then I have the Marvelous Mauves. This is a great matte formula. It's definitely powdery, but they blend really well. And I think it's really high quality. But these are $32 for five eyeshadows, which when you compare that to the Charlotte Tilbury and the Tom Ford, it's not that expensive. But again, I just think this is something that you can easily find on sale. This I got in the boxy pop-up when I had boxy charms still, and I think I only paid $12 for this. Um, and then I know that when I got the Marvelous Mauves, I used an Ulta 20% off coupon for those. And then I have another Dose of Colors palette, the Fruncation palette, which I got for 50% off on the Dose of Colors website. So I just think this brand is very, very high quality, but it's something you can find on sale. And I just, I don't wanna pay full price for these. Um, I am interested actually in the one called the Pretty Cool. Um, it's more cool tone browns. It's really beautiful, but again, I don't really wanna spend a full $32 on it, but if I could get a discount, I probably would buy that one at some point. This next brand, I have two palettes from them and I absolutely love them, but again, personally, I think their full retail value is overpriced. Just my opinion, but that is Sigma. And this is a great palette. This is the Enchanted palette and I also have the Untamed. And I have talked about that I think those two palettes are really high quality and I absolutely love them. Fantastic formula, but they're $50 full price. And my issue is not the quality or the formula or anything like that. I consider Sigma kind of an influencer brand and I just think for a brand like that to be asking $50 for a palette, just in my personal opinion, I think is too much. I think if they were $40, I think that would make more sense. I mean, a brand like Anastasia Beverly Hills, which has been around a really long time, and you know, it definitely has that you know credibility, even though I've mentioned before I don't buy from them anymore, but that brand has been in Sephora and Ulta for many years, and their palettes are like 40 to $42. You know, and the same like Too Faced. Like again, I mean, Too Faced is not my favorite brand, but it's been around a long time. It's been sold in Sephora a long time. You know, they charge 40 something dollars for their palettes. So I don't know. That's just, again, my opinion. I just think since Sigma is a bit more of an influencer brand, I think they should lower their prices a little bit, even though I love this. And they do a lot of sales. So again, if you want to buy a Sigma palette, I would say go for it based on my experience, but I would say wait for a sale because they do tend to do them every couple months. I got this one for 30% off and I got the Untamed for 40% off. The Untamed I got in their Black Friday sale and then this, they had like a summer sale. I don't even remember. So I think brands like this where they do sales where you can get a good chunk of money off, you know, that's what I would do. I actually want to buy more Sigma palettes. I would love to get their new um, Neutrals palette and the Cora de Rosa. So if they do another 30 or 40% off, I would actually consider buying those. Next up is Viseart. I have two of these Viseart palettes. This is the one called Boheme Dream. And these are pricey. They're $80. That's definitely not cheap. However, I do think that the formula is great. This one and then I have the Warm Mattes. Really high quality eyeshadows. Um, but again, this is a brand that does sales. If you look on their website, and then there's another website called Muse Beauty Pro that sells Viseart that does sales often. 
So, I mean, I just personally, I would not go to Sephora and spend $80 on this. Um, you could get it at the VIB sale for 15 or 20% off, and that'd probably be about the same. So I got this for 20% off, and then I have the other one, the warm mats that I also got for 20% off, and then I bought directly from the Viziart website, and they had free shipping. So, you know, I think for me, that was worth it, getting 20% off on these. I'm okay with that because I do think that the quality is there, but I guess I would just be aware that you can probably get a better deal on Viziart from other websites, you know, other than Sephora. Alrighty, then we have this, the Pat McGrath. This is the Mothership 2. I really do love this palette and I think it is spectacular. Now these are really pricey. They're $125. So... That's a lot to spend. Obviously you're paying for the name and this is a high-end luxury brand and the packaging is extremely luxurious. This is very fancy. To me, this looks like a fancy jewelry box. It's extremely heavy. So obviously part of the cost goes into that. Um, but again, I think that with Pat McGrath Labs, it's kind of like Viziart where their specific site does tend to do sales. So last year I noticed, I was kind of following all the Pat McGrath sales and I noticed that she tends to have them around holidays. Like the 4th of July sale was amazing. There was a ton of stuff for 25 and 30% off. And then also for Black Friday, she had good discounts. And then there was a spring sale too. I can't even remember where I got some stuff for 30% off. So. I've definitely been wanting to buy two more Mothership palettes. The ones I really want are the Mothership 5 and the Divine Rose 2. But I mentioned in another video that I'm at the point where I just, I've decided I don't feel comfortable spending more than $100 on a palette, which $100 is still a lot of money. So I think if I could get maybe 25% off these mothership palettes, I would buy more. I have held off though, because yeah, it is a lot of money, um, but those, the mothership five and the divine rose two are the ones that are kind of on my wish list, but I'm gonna wait and see. Hopefully Pat McGrath will maybe have a spring sale again, because last year the spring sale was really, really good. Alrighty, and last up I wanna talk about Natasha Denona. I really do love the Natasha Nona formula. It may be my favorite formula. It's definitely in my top two or three favorite eyeshadow formulas. And last year I bought a lot of Natasha Denona palettes, quite a few. Um, you know, so I definitely have some thoughts on the formula. I do think it does tend to lack a little bit of consistency. This is my newest palette. This was a Christmas gift and I absolutely love it. The formula on this one is absolutely amazing. So her prices vary a lot. She's got these mid-sized palettes that are $65. Then she has the ones that are slightly larger, like the gold palette and the Lila, which are $129. And then she's got the $239 palettes as well. I don't know. I mean, I, I'm not even sure that these are quite worth the full price. Personally, I did buy the bronze palette on a Cyber Monday for 25% off, and I do feel like that was a great discount. I would repurchase these mid-size palettes if I could get the 25% off. The larger palettes, to be honest, I'm not sure I would repurchase at all just because they're so, so expensive. But I do think that the mid-size ones are great. I admit I've just had a lot of mixed thoughts about my more expensive Natasha Denona palettes and whether they were worth it at all, even if I did get them on sale. But yeah, I think these mid-size palettes, I would consider buying more, but personally, I'd probably wanna get maybe 20% off like at a Sephora VIB sale. I will say these don't go on sale on the Tasha Nona website very much, I've noticed. For her Black Friday sale, none of these mid-size palettes were on sale, I don't think, or maybe they were in a bundle or something. I can't remember, but I remember that I wanted to buy the Glam and the Bronze, and those two were not on sale on her Black Friday deals. So I don't know, I have some mixed thoughts. I definitely would repurchase the mid-size palettes if I could get maybe 20 or 25% off. The larger ones, now that I've tried these and I love the formula so much, 
I'm not sure I would repurchase those at all. Alrighty, that is it for this video. I've just been kind of thinking about this stuff a lot, thinking about the money I've spent, what was worth it, what am I getting use out of, how much would I spend in the future, you know, if one of these palettes fell on the floor and shattered, would I want to go out and buy it again, would I pay full retail value, so just something that I've been thinking a lot about lately. If you're interested, you can check out those other videos that I did. They're kind of related to this one. I will link those in the description box. Please, please let us know. I am curious what you guys think. What palettes do you think are absolutely amazing, but only if you can get a good deal? And I'm thinking of doing the opposite version of this palettes that I would definitely spend full retail value on. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.